Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this looping animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin, but with the help of simple and cool tips and tricks inside of After Effects. And if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff, then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses. Links are available in the description. And if you're new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will call it as main animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 1 minute long, and background color is white color. And simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection. Then I'm going to select my rectangle tool and for the fill I'm going to choose black color. And by holding shift, I'm going to create one uh, square. Now select this and press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Now press Ctrl R on your keyboard to create this ruler and bring one line over here which should touch the bottom of this uh, uh, square like this. Okay, now select this uh, square, press R for rotation, create one keyframe, zoom in a little bit. Let's go to around 20 frames and let's rotate it on 90 degree go to around uh, 10 frames uh, again forward over here 90 plus 90 which is equal to 180 then go 20 uh, 10 frame forward over here plus 90 which is 270 and over here uh, we are going to add again plus 90 which is complete 360 so if i see i'll get this kind of rotation now select those keyframes and hit f9 to easy ease those keyframes and by holding alt i'm going to increase the duration up to four seconds now go to the graph editor right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph select this graph by holding shift i'm going to move this handle over here and move this handle over here so now let's make this fit and let's see i'll get this kind of rotation now let's select this and by holding alt i'll move this up to two seconds so i'll get animation a little bit faster now i want uh, this animation should be properly like uh, happening on the ground kind of stuff now i'm going to select this shape layer and press p for position create one keyframe and hit u so i can see uh, the keyframes hit page down button to go one frame forward like this and over here i'm going to move it a little bit upward with the help of arrow keys and make sure that this point should touch the ground again hit page down button one time as you guys can see if you zoom in a little bit this point is coming out uh, from uh, below the ground so again with the help of arrow keys i'll adjust it over here hit page down button one time and adjust it over here hit page down button one time with the help of arrow keys i'll adjust it hit page down button one time with the help of arrow keys i'll adjust it over here again page down button one time and with the help of up arrow keys i'll adjust it over here hit page down button one time again adjust it over here hit page down button one time i'll choose down arrow key page down button again bring this downwards basically we have to check it out whether this is pointing is touching this or, or not bring down this down bring it down again bring it down bring this down bring this down and at the last copy the first keyframe okay and let's make this fit now copy this position keyframe ctrl c ctrl v over here also ctrl v over here also ctrl v so if i see this i'll get this kind of animation now i'll alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it like this copy this expression and hit ctrl c over here also hit ctrl v so i'll get this animation continuously now after that uh, i'm going to press uh, ctrl y to create one solid background and i'm going to choose black color for this background press p for position and let's bring this downwards uh, somewhere around over here only like this then i'm going to select this layer bring this at the top right click new and one null object select the shape layer and make it apparent with this null and now i'm going to remove this 
stuff with the help of uh, uh, this null object i'll adjust it over here press s for scaling option and make this null object 50 press p for position let's bring this downwards zoom in a little bit with the help of arrow keys i'll bring this downward then uh, i'm going to select this over here and i'll bring this out of this composition but make sure that i'm going to see these lines okay like this now select this and press p for position create one keyframe select this and over here i'm going to press r for rotation tool so i mean r for rotation properties so i can see rotation properties only then i'll go around over here at this point i'm going to select this null object now if you see from the start uh, if you see this uh, 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 i mean cube this side of this uh, cube is touching this border now when this cube is going to move forward i want the other opposite side of this cube should touch this line like this and then we will select this keyframes and we will hit f9 then if you see over here and if you go to the graph editor we have this kind of graph at this point so i'm going to adjust uh, zoom in a little bit we need this kind of graph only for this one uh, i mean the position property so select this go to the graph zoom out a little bit okay select this by holding shift i'll move one handle over here and i'll move one handle over here okay and let's make this fit and now i'm going to alt click on the stopwatch i'll type loop out expression on it over here inside that we need to type first and we will bring offset so what will happen i'll get this forward animation like this now after that uh, we need another stuff over here we i'm going to create one rectangle by holding shift i'm going to create this kind of rectangle press ctrl alt home okay let's bring them downward let's bring this over here at the start go over here select this press p for position right click and choose separate dimension then press r for rotation create one keyframe hit u then zoom in a little bit let's go somewhere around one second and we will create another keyframe at rotation then press p for position create one keyframe at y then go to the start create one keyframe and in middle of that i'm going to simply select this and i'll bring this uh, y position of this one over here then press r for rotation go over here and we need to rotate it on let's say 360 degree which is my one complete rotation like this then hit u let's select this uh, and by holding alt i'm going to move this to 20 frames then select the y position keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here select this move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here okay like this then select this uh, go, uh, select this and choose f9 for rotation tool select this and by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so if i see i'll get this kind of rotation and if you see it see this animation is fast then bring down the keyframes up to this okay it's totally up to you now select this and press uh, p for position and alt click on this x position open and close bracket inside this type position open and close bracket inside that type 0 after that plus and type 150 star index okay so you will get something like this hit ctrl d several times little bit then select all of them and change the x position of them in a such a way like this okay now we need to adjust their uh, alignment so let's make this fit uh, let's move this anchor point over here now at this point i want this first one should I start to animate so with the help of open square bracket i'll move this over here then at this point i want this one should start animate so with the help of open square bracket i'll move this over here at this point i want this one should start animate so with the help of open square bracket i'll move this over here then uh, at this point this one should start to animate so i'll move this over here at this point this one should start animate move this over here then at this point this one should start animate so open square bracket and move this over here then this one should start from here 
let's a little bit background then this one should start animate at this point this one should start animate over here then at this point this one should start animate like this and go to the start select all of them hold alt open square bracket to move them over here so what will happen we will get this kind of animation over here now uh, this animation is ending at six second over here so hit and over here okay and press f4 select all of them and enable motion blur like this okay so this is how you will get this animation then press ctrl y to create one solid background and we are going to choose white color and bring this downwards then right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the uh, start sorry let's delete this adjustment layer first of all select all of them and press ctrl shift c and we will pre-compose this comp and we will call it as animation and hit ok so let's see okay then right click new and then create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and apply tint and swap this color then i'm going to enable my ellipse tool by holding shift i'm going to create ellipse select this press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically go to the start select this adjustment layer press f4 and choose alpha mask select the shape layer and let's make this zero create one keyframe go somewhere around over here and let's increase the size then select these two layers and hit ctrl d and with the help of open square bracket move this over here hit u so we will get this kind of animation over here and this is going to be in the form of loop so this is how you can create looping animation inside of after effects